so much wildlife in Africa. You know, they say there's some animal species here that haven't even been discovered yet. That African warlord is brutalizing those innocent people. Yeah, but it's okay, because he's wearing a large cowboy hat and follows everything with hamburger, like that stand-up comic from the 90s. After 18 hours in the mines, we are going to check your butts for diamonds. Hamburger. Aha, <laughs> I get it. If you do not work on my rubber plantation, I will burn your tongues. Boy, the day I'm having. I actually made one too many Build-A-Bears for the cancer kids. If only I could build a cure, huh? You know, Patty, I've got seven fifty left on my Panda Express card if you want to split a three-item combo, no drink. Sure. Well, then hop on board the Panda Express. <laughs> well, we made it. East Bola. All right, let's find our prince and get my money back. <laughs> Sir, shoot me if you must, but it is imperative that I look at these pictures. <laughs> It was your money that paid for the school. A well to provide clean drinking water. A first health clinic. And a red box with one movie in it. You're parked in Mr. Tackleman's space. You're going on a date with Patty? I told you to back off. And since when do you wear high tops? What, my kicks? Ah, it's nothing. I just use these for Instagram. Somebody wants to... I can't believe you're going through with this, Carter. Paying these thugs to tear down the village isn't going to bring you money back. This isn't about the money. This is payback for Sammy Davis dating Kim Novak. Oh, is that right? Yes, that is right. Here's 5,000 bucks. Lock up that fat ass. Damn it, this sucks. I may never get out of here. Well, as a man falsely imprisoned in Africa... I have no choice but to write a memoir of my struggles. Hi there, the lady says to Fifty Shades of Grey. That's Mr. Fifty Shades of Grey to you, Kate from Ben and Kate. And then he turned her butt inside out. Take this, Chibo. Take this to a French-Canadian flight attendant, and he will give it to everybody. So sweet. Why are you so nice to me? Most guys never give me the time of day because I'm so plain looking. Brian, stop! You don't have to do this, Patty. Brian's just taking advantage of you. What? That's crazy! What? You're not dumpy. I was just saying that because I was worried you'd become popular and not want to be friends with us anymore. Oh, come on! What the hell? Great spirit. You let Peter out of that jail right now. And give these people back their health clinic and their school. No! Hi, Lois. I like your shorts. Bye, Lois. Oh, my God! All right. Let him go! Yay! Lois, how much was your flight and which card did you put it on? I know. I'm sorry I almost had you shot. Oh, that's all right. I got a fever of 108. I'm not going to remember any of this. And I'm sorry for what I did to your village, Dave. Yeah, this has been great, guys. Now, all I need is a group photo of me kneeling in front of the village so I can brag about what a good person I am. Ah, oh, cool! Somebody put Billy Joel on a jukebox. First of all, it's moving out parentheses Anthony's song. And second of all, this is 100% not Billy Joel. You know, when they recorded Moving Out, someone left the studio doors open, and that's why at the end you hear that car sound. Peter, I'm going to punch you with this beer mug till I'm holding just the handle. Guys, calm down. There's one way to solve this. I'll just use my phone. Thank you! God, you idiots are exhausting. Hey, Cleveland, how'd you do that with your phone? I'm not an idiot. I use Shazam. It recognizes songs and tells you their name. It says Lana Del Rey. Wow, how do I get this on my phone? You just download it. It's an app. What's an app? So, what can I do for you? Well, I've got to go to church, but I don't have time to change from the rodeo. Excuse me, I thought you were helping me find a look that'll let me cling to my youth in my 40s. Yes, I'm interested in cheating on my wife in Las Vegas. Brian, I'm in a bind. Joanne was supposed to drive me to the club, but she's having throat surgery. 20 years of menthol slims. I don't understand anything you just said. Just drive me to the racket club. Hugh Cornwallis? He's like... Super bitchy, I know. Now, come on, let's go. So what, you're gonna play tennis all day? No, I might also hit the treadmill and watch Kelly and Michael on mute with closed captioning. Yeah! 
Awesome. Peanut, will you keep it down? I'm trying to look at lamps I'll never buy. Oh, yeah, sorry. This one's a cool bowling app I got. Oh, yeah, strike. Peanut, your phone's streaming to the TV. You're clearly watching porn. Will you turn it off? Well, there you are, Dad. Where have you been? I haven't seen you in days. Oh, I went out of town for a little while, but I made the mistake of using this app called Bear B&B. &B. Where are you going? Oh, I'm meeting up with someone from my grinder app. You meatball freak? Uh-huh. All right, let's do this. Are you also married? My phone's broken. I'm not surprised. It's probably because of all those apps you've been downloading. Don't say apps like you're young. No, I took it in the shower because I didn't know you could pause a game. You know, Chris, you could probably salvage that phone. If you put it in a bag of uncooked rice, it'll dry out. Really? Yeah. And then you can use the rice to pretend someone wanted to marry you. Holy moly, Marcy Miller. She bought feminine products at my dad's pharmacy, so you know she's up and running. What? Really? Are, are you sure? Oh, yeah. People who send their daughters to public high schools are basically asking for this. Well, I did just get this new phone from my dad. Ah, this is it, Bry. The Quahog Racket Club, where frail old men come to weigh themselves in the nude. Wow, they allow drinking here at 10.30 in the morning? Oh, yes. Half the bathroom trash is thrown up scrambled eggs. Okay, so this place has hot women, morning booze, and free vomit? Well, maybe I'll join you. Honey, I thought we could do a little role-playing tonight. Oh, yeah? What'd you have in mind? Maybe I could be my character from the show. Hey, look, you didn't marry me because of my brains. You married me because I play one of the main bad guys in Blue Bloods. Now let's just stop talking and have idiot actor sex. Thank you for coming, Mr. and Mrs. Griffin. We've got a bit of a situation, which is why I've asked Officer Swanson to join us. It appears Chris sent an inappropriate photo of himself to one of his classmates. Okay, I can see everybody's mad, but... What'd you think? Thank you for bringing this to our attention, Principal Shepard. We'll make sure Chris apologizes to that little knob tease. I don't know what to say, but the laws just haven't caught up to how cool kids are now. I'm sorry, but this makes Chris a sex offender. Oh, my God! Huh. Ah, you look back too fast. Good afternoon, I'm Tom Tucker. Today we bring you a disturbing case of child pornography. Local teenage scumbag Chris Griffin, whose name will be omitted here, was caught sending quote-unquote... Oh, this is awful. Now everyone in town knows I'm a sex offender. We know you didn't mean any harm, Chris. We're just living in a different time. When I was your age, boys used to just whip it out on the bus. Oh, that sounds awful. It can't be any worse than our trip to Hawaii. Okay, before you do anything else, I'm deathly allergic. Is there anything you're not allergic to? Yeah, the Epcot Center, where I wanted to go. We now return to Star Trek Creep Space Nine. <laughs> ah, she saw us, warp speed. Are you on vacation? I am. Here's those fries you ordered and your hot sauce. Hot sauce? On fries? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Black guys put hot sauce on everything on account... This stuff ain't that hot. Ooh, I feel like I'm crying, but, like, out of my neck and back. Oh, look at his face. He looks like Oliver Platt climbing a flight of stairs. Tell you what, Peter. I'll give you ten bucks if you drink an entire shot glass of that hot sauce. Let me see the money. Y you don't believe I have ten dollars? I think he's afraid. Am not. Prove it. Ten bucks. <laughs> oh my god! I can get people to pay me ten bucks just for doing stupid stuff? Man, I haven't made money this easy since I invented the yanking. Peter, what's wrong? Well, I want to masturbate, but I'm just so darn cold. Reducing the yanking. The only blanket with built in decoy arms. Our patented process makes it look like you're holding the remote or sipping a beer. Meanwhile, your real hands are under the blanket. What's going on under that blanket? You'll never know. Uh, actually, you owe me 20. Ew. Here's 50. Go change your underwear. It won't come off. So, uh, I guess this means, Peter, you're our Joe now, and Joe, you're our Peter. That means you gotta do anything for 10 bucks. Okay. I have a request. Yay! Joe's chin! 
just thought of something else you could do for ten bucks. Yeah, you know, you know what? I, I'm gonna think I'm gonna um up in my price to twelve fifty. All right, we're gonna open this fire hydrant, and you're gonna drink as much water from it as you can. Chris has Crohn's disease. Get down there! Don't 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 tell us that now. <laughs> Holy crap, we, we, we gotta, gotta get out of here. Oh, hey, Bri. Still sitting in chairs, huh? What'd your back ever do to you? I'm trying to watch. Know what I'm watching? My core. But first, the public library suffered damage this evening when an area fat man smashed through the front of the building while attempting a drunken stunt. The bus station is expected to absorb the overflow of homeless armpit washing ladies. In light of events at the library, we now go live to a press conference at the mayor's residence. Good evening, Quahog. I'm here tonight with the deputy mayor. Hi, everybody. What? I can't drink anymore? What am I going to do? What do people do who don't drink? I don't know. Knit? Knit? Nit, are you kidding me? Good afternoon, I'm Tom Tucker. It's day three of Quahog's new ban on alcohol for anybody under 50. And if there's one thing the new drinking age law has done, it's let us know that women tell terrible stories. I was going to bone my girlfriend, but she told me that if there wasn't vanilla vodka involved, there was no way. Well, I do miss drinking, but I have used the time to reconnect with my children, and I'm actually thinking about resuming my actuarial practice. No kidding. Now I know how Megan from Megan's Law felt. I, I, don't, I don't think you know how she felt. It's okay, I work here. Aren't you the guy who cried in that meeting? Oh, yeah, you know, you know, I just remembered there's no beer here. Let, 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 let's, let, let's, just, let's just go. Oh, look, right here. This one's full of Chardonnay. Peter, I don't think that's... But it was Chardonnay. The best Chardonnay I'd ever had in my life. Don't worry, guys. If we can't buy alcohol in Quahog, we'll just go to the next town over. Have you seen some of these laws they've got now about denim? You know, I say, if you don't like it, you may as well Levi's. Who's voting for these mayors? Rhode Island's a mess from top to bottom.